Okay, we have to have a part two because the battery went dead. Now this is what I'm about to do. This is Clorox bleached and I soaked it, peroxized, bathed it, and now I'm about to sublimate. Okay, I'm about to put this on my bleached, I bleached it, then I'm gonna sublimate it. I like those colors, it's popping. Please like and subscribe. First, what I'm gonna do is get some of these wrinkles out. Still a little damp, because I'm excited about what's about to happen. This is my first time sublimating, I mean bleaching and sublimating. So I'm gonna take a few minutes, a few seconds, and press. All right, let's get that out the way. And what I'm going to do, prepare my image. I'm using one hand. Please like and share and subscribe. Let me align everything. I think that's better for me versus trying to do everything with one hand. So it won't go through to the back of the shirt because the ink is definitely, you know what, I should have used that butcher paper. So nothing. That's what I'm going to use because that's giving me Doing one sheet of wax paper. I changed my mind about the copy paper because I thought it was going to be a line in the middle of the of my garment. Make sure everything is measured. Paper on top. Of it. Wait, I'm just aligning it, everybody. Just aligning everything. I want to make certain everything is aligned properly. Butcher paper. This is my butcher paper right here. Okay, guys, getting the tape. I had to grab my heat trans heat transfer and tape to make certain when I lift up the heat press that the garment does not move. Let me show you what I'm all right. I'm gonna sit this right here. So your press is done, stiff enough, hard enough. You don't want anything loose in between. And I have my press on 400, 60 seconds. Like and subscribe to my channel. It's still a little smoky because it's a little damp. Let's see exactly. Wow. Wow. This is it. All the ink. This is bleach and then sublimation. 
here is the final project. This is my first time. I bleach and then I sublimate it. 